And you know, John Lennon says that life is what happens when you're making other plans. Professionalism is what happens when you start pursuing the things that a professional does. So I run something called mastermind groups where I have usually six women get together and they say what it is they want to achieve within six months. So one woman, Dr. Debbie Donowski, who's a professor at Sacred Heart University, okay, you re and she's written five books, wanted to be more professional. Why is this woman coming here? Do you know what I mean? Like some people say, I don't feel like a professional, okay? So I said, well, what would make you feel like a professional? And she said, well, if I had a dedicated workspace in my home, if I had a regular writing schedule, um, if I put together a, pro a professional promotional kit, do you get it? It's like, you know, sometimes we're out there and we're being a mom or we're being a cook or we're being a chauffeur. We don't feel like a professional. So she actually articulated something really important. So her first assignment was to create a dedicated workspace, which she did. She cleared out, you know, she cleared out a sec second bedroom in her house, painted it, got her desk set up. And then she said, I will write two hours. This is over a period of six months. I will write, write two hours every day. And then she got together her promotional kit, also over a period of six months. And what happened is at the last session, I said, so are you feeling like a professional now? And she said, what? I said, are you feeling like a professional? And she said, what do you mean? I said, well, that was what you wanted to do. She was so involved in being the professional, she forgot that that was a goal of hers. So the lesson is, what was the number on that? Number, uh, that taking the steps to feel like a pro leads, yields far more than the feeling.